what I'm going to attempt to do today is um, to demonstrate the acoustic options I have with this um, self-built um, well, half sandon we're calling them. Uh, Lars and I that attended the sandon guitars building course um, we spoke a couple of weeks ago and uh, uh, Homesick Mac, who does a lot of demoing for, for Michael, a good friend of his, calls these um, class built ones half sandons. So um, the half sandon and my one I call the uh, 1964 or MCMX, MCML um, X1V, which is 1964 in Roman numerals, which I've got on my label that I made in here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've I've got this camera here as well, um, and I'm just going to tell you what I've got on this guitar, um, which is uh, this one on. Um, and it, uh, no, 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 no. And that's my just the setup here. That's the Marshall um, AS50R, which is my acoustic amp. Uh, down here, I've got my uh, Boss ME50 and my Roland VG88. Um, I've got two amps here. One's a bass amp on the uh, basement, uh, Fender basement model, and the other one's a Marshall MG100 DFX. I've got two other amps as well, but I'm not using them in this uh, thing. Uh, over there is actually my, acoust my acoustic guitars, the other ones in their cases. Um, but with this one guitar here, um, I'm able to access many, many uh, guitar models. First up, um, what I've put in this guitar is the uh, Graph Tech Acoustic MIDI. Um, synth access system um, and the way that works is there are peso saddles here six of them um, and they are connected up to a uh, 13 pin connector here it's the Roland GK connector there are 13 pins uh, and uh, that sends um, separate string signals for each of the each of the strings um, what you can hear there at the moment is actually the peso output of the guitar itself um, those signals go here I've got three knobs on top of the guitar this is a volume knob this is a mid sweep knob and this is a bass knob um, and they're stack knobs and the bottom ones control the volume of the sum signal of just the guitar and when I say the sum signal what that is is, is the uh, the MIDI six MIDI signals are just put into one and uh, the same signal that you'd get out of a normal quarter inch jack is sent down um, it's actually sent down um, pin 7 of this 13 pin cable which is the same as if I plug in a quarter inch just here and it saves you having to have two cables mm -hmm. so um, at the moment, I've got the synth volume uh, off. That's uh, this pedal down here controls the uh, output of the VG88, um, and this pedal here is the AB switch. You can see the green light is on the XLR output. Uh, that's outputting actually a Variax um, uh, guitar. I've got the uh, just to explain that, um, so the VG88 is the Roland modelling system for guitars where you can make your own guitars and I'm going to show you that later. Um, the Line 6 uh, are probably, well I would say the best known guitar modelling thing. They've, they've, um, Roland's been around for the longest uh, remarkably they're just way ahead of their time even now. Uh, line 6 
uh, have the range of JTV Variaxes, James Tyler Variaxes, and also now the Yamaha Variaxes, because um, Yamaha bought Line 6 last year. Uh, but what I've got is a rack fax, and what I did was I put a Variax 600 guitar, which I, I bought into this um, into this box, and I bought from rack fax. Um, well, I didn't buy it directly from them. I bought it as part of an eBay auction with a Variax 600, uh, which ended up in this box. And this box here uh, has basically it's a Variax guitar. What I've got, I've got this connected up via workbench to my computer here. Um, this is a Mac window uh, showing the workbench. Um, uh, I'm doing a screen capture at the same time, and you'll see. Uh, I'm in the custom settings at the moment and I've got it on, you can see if I move the slots uh, it will move on the screen, that's now gone to uh, the second slot which is a parlour guitar. If I turn my volume completely off here, uh, if I turn this up here, you can hear, because I've got it connected, it doesn't make that noise if it's not connected to the computer, but that was the computer. Uh, there you go, that's turning up. Now that now, that I'm playing there, with this guitar, is the Variax model guitar. And I, I believe that's an internet first. I don't think I've ever seen anyone demonstrate a rack vax with a an acoustic guitar, at least of all one of this quality. Um, so um, I can I can I can change uh, those settings that on um, the Varex guitar. You do have a tone control, so you can uh, this knob here um, is the tone control, and this one's the volume control and this is the model selector, so I can access all of the Varex models but what I did was I used Workbench to um, adjust all my settings to, to get these these ones working nicely with this guitar um, it's a bit loud, let's turn that down a bit So here you see um, it's an acoustic parlor guitar. Um, it's an acoustic guitar, so there, you can't change uh, anything to do with pickups because there aren't any on there. And on the controls, uh, oh, let's just go back to the body tab, and you can see you can adjust the volume pretty much all you can do, or you can alternate tune it, but I've, I've just got it on the standard tuning. Um, so if we just flick through these other ones, um, now this here uh, is the acoustic Dreadnought 12 string. Um, and, uh, Um, it's just the 
Bruno. Which is sounding pretty horrible. We need to do some work on that. Um, let's see what else we've got. Just now, um, what we'll do is we'll flip this over on the Varex side and just um, have a mess about with a few of the... So, now... this around here uh, you can see I'm going through the different models that are available now let's just get it up to Thank you. 
changed the knob there, that's gone down to Reverend Billy. Uh, models are actually hanging up. I don't think you'll be able to see that very clearly on that camera. Um, and the middle one is E335 neck and bridge is the middle position. So if I go to the middle position there, that's now an E335. I'm now playing uh, the Variax E335 on my acoustic guitar through a uh, basement amp, and, and that's the model sound. can do now is I can actually add in this guitar by turning up this volume knob here. guitar if I want to um, say scoop the mids so that's completely off now and put the bass right up thing with these there are little there's a notch halfway through so that's half the halfway through full volume so I think that's quite nice um, so next then if I turn that off um, and then we can come to the VG88 so for that if I just this up here um, turn that off 
Rhiannon, can you please go I away? I don't I'm see working. you. Rhiannon, go. But well, that's not seeing you. Rhiannon. That not see you. The camera doesn't see you. So, here we go. Um, if I turn up. So that's the top node here, which is the volume. Um, and the foot pedal here turns it off. Now I've got the guitar itself completely down. I've got the volume completely down now on the rack vac, so we haven't got any rack vacs. All we have at the moment is is that patch there, which is the acoustic patch, which I made um, in the V editor, which I downloaded from V Guitar forums. It's um, a shareware or uh, open source app. You can make contributions. Uh, it's, it's a brilliant thing, and it, it, the VG88s, which are such a fantastic, they're fantastic value. VG99s are going to become a cult thing because they've stopped making them, and they are brilliant. But the VG88 has just fantastic functionality, and with this editor, does a lot of stuff. Um, which um, makes you know makes sense to me um, when I bought it, um, and also I've, I've, I've got a GR33, which is the guitar synth thing coming. I, I got one on eBay the other day, and it's on its way. I'm quite excited about that. So that's this acoustic patch that I made actually through this Marshall amp. Guitar. You can see the patch changed on the screen when I change it on there because it's connected by MIDI. It's a nylon string. So in terms of layering guitar sounds for one guitar part, um, and it's obviously if you put a looper in with this slot, you're away to the races. Um, but you can get a really nice sort of guitar sound, um, and by adjusting volumes and what have you, and attacks and things with your patches, you can actually build up, um, you know, one man guitar orchestra with lots of guitar sounds. Um, with, 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 with what's here already, that's a nylon patch and then this one, this next one here is another acoustic patch that I made Right, so let's just 
just go uh, back to yes. uh, we're going to go back to another acoustic here. We'll just uh, go back to the custom settings and we'll go back to uh, if we go to that one there, we'll cut out the ME50, so that's uh, now going to be, um, the output of that pedal is into the XLR on there, so this is the AS50R. S50R, I've got the Variax model of the um, Dreadnought, that is, it's mislabeled on my, my screen, but uh, uh, on the left hand channel we've got down here a uh, patch for, it's an acoustic patch I made, which is uh, coming out into this Marshall MG100 DFX. And then the guitar itself is going out of the, um, the guitar output, which is uh, signaled to uh, line 7 or pin 7. Um, and that, controlled from the guitar volume here, is going to the middle into the bass cube. No, it's not. It's going out of the guitar input into the other channel. Um, the, the, there's, there are two input channels in the AAS50R. So. guitars coming out of it so and that sounds like this pin out on this guitar uh, it takes care of the just the straight acoustic output of the guitar the synth side of the guitar the variax rack back side of, of, of the guitar uh, and then the last thing on this guitar which I put on um, is um, uh, the Tronicle auto tune so if we uh, just here press this button here um, and uh, right, what we want to do is I'm going to put it into drop D, drop D, there you go, and then I press that button there, and that will put it into. like to demonstrate that is that with Variax and also with the VG system you can actually have an, a, 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 a MIDI based altered tuning um, but obviously the guitar remains in standard tuning I would rather play 